This neighborhood, lots of mid-century style homes. It's a little more of a modern silhouette in the architecture. Today we're looking at houses with Jeff Moffat and his daughter Jessica. Uh, he's a nurse practitioner in town. He's got his own clinic. He's one uh, house that's close to his practice. Jeff likes clean lines and open spaces. So I think we're gonna go in a more modern direction. Let's talk about the golf house. Wow, I've never even noticed this house. It's, it's, it's a sleeper. It is, it's kind of subtle. It sits back from the road. <laughs> It's kind of it's my perfect. style. perfect. <laughs> yeah, super close to your clinic. I like that a lot. Sally and Byron Golf bought this house in 1971, and then they lived here for almost 50 years. So this one is three bedrooms, two baths. It's almost 3,000 square feet, and you could get it for $110,000. Okay. I don't hate it. I actually really like it. We're just gonna push it in a full-on modern direction. The door color would be more of like a faded green blue, and it would include the side lights. That's a little darker than I was expecting. It's um, almost a black, but I think the brick would look so much prettier if there were more contrast. Yeah. All right, come on in. It's a really cool foyer, I think. It's very floral. This is beautiful. The floors are gorgeous, right? And uh, this is a nice big open room, right? So that works. Yes. Keep going. Go check okay, out the so kitchen. You're not going to be happy. Really? What a great way to lead him in. <laughs> it's pretty rare when somebody says, hey, go check out this room. I think you're not going to like it. Wow. OK. You wanted him to know that we know. We get it. Yeah. We're mind melding. It's not so much the style. No, it's the style. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way it's built more. It's, it's also just, really small. The tile, that's interesting. Oh wow, there's a fireplace in here. Isn't a fireplace great? This is awesome. Well, I was thinking it'd be a great study for you. Now we're talking. Okay, so here's my vision. If you can look around the lemon meringue pie color of the room, I would pull up all the tile, refinish the oak floors that are underneath, we hope, and then do a mortar smear on the brick so we completely smooth it out and then build bookcase from the fireplace to that wall. And this becomes a really cozy and quiet study for you at the back of the house. That's my love language. Yeah. That's awesome. It's $110,000 and we would spend 90,000 on all of this. So you'd have $200,000 in it. Okay. I want to talk about the Clark house. I like, I like it. it. Benita and David Clark built this house in 1962. Then they lived here for 40 years. It's three bedrooms, three baths, 1900 square feet. They've got it listed for $128,000, but I really think you could get it for $115,000. Let's check it out. It's surprising, right? You want it open, you got it. This is cool. Right? No low ceilings. Nope. The windows are awesome. Like, the lights aren't even on, and it's so bright in here. I think it would be fun to have that living room. Like, have a couch up against the railing, jump off play hide and go seek under the stairs. I don't know, it looks fun. Wood floors coming yeah. all the way. Into this huge kitchen. Yeah. Nice. You don't even have to knock down too many walls. And it has a fireplace, just like the golf house. Wow. And this is an incredible room. I like it a lot, but I'm yeah. gonna have to get more books. And we would do even more shelves. Yeah, we would completely tear out these bookcases, rebuild new ones that have a more sleek and streamlined look, but it would be the whole wall. I love the light back here with the windows, and these, I, I like the floors a lot. Yeah, we would yeah. keep these. If you could get it for 115000 and we're pretty confident you could do that, we would spend another $85,000 inside the house and then you'd be $200,000 all in. We like both houses. I mean, you guys kind of hit it out of the park with what I'm looking for. So which house? My grandfather always said in real estate, it's location, location, location. So we're going with the golf house. Okay. The golf house. I'm excited about what you guys were talking about. The kitchen, the closet, the study. It's such a great house. You know, walking to work's a thing. Did you think more about the black paint on the outside? It's growing on me. It won't be a scary color. It'll be a, a happy. A happy black. A happy black. I'm excited. Thank you, guys. Stout. To make the kitchen a lot bigger, we're going to take down a wall between the living room and the kitchen. I really broke on through. Yeah. To the other side. Yeah, you did. Yeah, it's definitely going to open it up. So Randy is getting the cedar out of the closet. So 
to the right of the fireplace, I'm wanting to do like a solid cedar plank wall, like a really mid-mod look, and then come over that with shelves for his books. It'll be a cool look. Oak is beautiful. May need a little polishing right there, but this is great. Goodbye to the 60s. The demo's all done, the walls have come down, and today the main structural support beam is going up. Let's have a contest. Let's see how many we can do. I go. How many can you do? I don't know. Dang, Nico. Nico's strong. He did 11 pull-ups like it was nothing. Dang. Nico yes. looks like he'd hit a fight like a bowling ball hitting the pins. Uh -huh. Like he'd just come in there. <laughs> pow, pow. Yak him. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know if I could even do one. Meanwhile, I'm like, boom. Uh -huh. Like whack-a-mole when I'm in a fight. No, I can't. Let's put that beam in. This radio intercom system is original to the house. And it works. Yes. And you can hear it all in the bedrooms and everything. Oh, wow. And you can turn off different speakers. So yeah. if there is any way we could keep this and keep it working. Yeah, let's see. The problem is this is all going to be new. So this wall, wall is coming out to about here. Oh, so we got to move it. Yeah. Moving it where? Moving it right around the corner? Just, yeah, just right oh, here. Okay. There's enough slack to move it. We should be able to just, you don't want just swinging around the corner there. Yeah. I was really kind of nervous that we wouldn't be able to save the radio just for practical reasons because it might be expensive to rewire or there might not be enough wiring to move it. Move up above this shelf in here and that'd be perfect. Happy with the paint? Yes. Keep in mind that right now it's wet, so it looks lighter than it will actually be. When it dries, it's like a true graphite charcoal yeah. kind of color. It's going to feel like the study. Dark, warm. warm. It'll all be very Jeff. I wonder if it's possible for us to do, instead of running bond with the right. pattern, to just stack the tiles. So you want to go horizontal stack? Yeah, so it's more like a grid because the house is so mid-century, like it would make a lot of sense. You know, we're going to have to cap it all. Yeah. And a horizontal stack, I think it looks good. All right, we're getting a bathroom for real now. We wanted to keep the kitchen bright with the countertops and everything else, but there's not a ton of tile going in on the backsplash, so I think we can afford for it to be dark. It's good to see like all of this stuff coming together. The panel on the back of the island, the bathroom fixtures, like lights, everything is just. Everything that tells the story of the style is happening now. Jeff and Jessica are coming back, and I hope that they're happy with what we did because it is so different. I feel like this house really represents Jeff and who he is in this season of life. It's a fresh new start, a clean slate, and it's a very modern kind of minimalist look that I think is gonna be really right up his alley and he's gonna feel right at home. Before it was the golf house, Welcome to the Moffat House. <laughs> I do like it. I'm so relieved. It <laughs> Me actually, too. It, I'll be honest with you. You were nervous about it. A little, but you were right. That dark color looks sharp. It doesn't seem as dark as I thought it was going to be. This is what I had in mind from the beginning. It just looked like a true black in the watercolor, I think, which was maybe a little scarier. I like the door. Yeah? Yeah. OK. You mentioned to me that olive was a favorite color. Mm -hmm. So front doors going olive feels right to me. And then we actually painted the aluminum around your windows true black so that they look like steel windows, which is a, a much more modern in the 2020s sort of way. Wow. Isn't it cool? y'all. This is incredible. Do you like it? Are you happy? I am. <laughs> you guys have been busy. Room, less room. A lot of room. I mean, you can all hang out here, huh? Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, for <laughs> sure. This island is really our baby. This is our favorite thing in the kitchen. We put this wood veneer on the back and then the terrazzo quartz on top. Both are like a nod to the 60s. Yeah, the, the veneer, it's a black walnut and then the shelves are the same material. This is awesome. Microwave, now I can cook. <laughs> yeah. You can make your ramen noodles right there. We kept the radio because oh, it still awesome. works. Yes. How cool is that? All over the house Repoed it works it. crystal clear. Then this, these are the blueprints of the house. Really? Yep. They were in your grandfather's shop because really? apparently he built this house. Come on now. Oh, that's too cool. Oh, wow. Yep. That's the man. That's cool. At the height of his business, he employed nearly 100 people. His, his goal was to build 100 houses a year. It's kind of neat that this house is one of the ones that he built. I would be very interested to know what he would say if he were here. Uh, he would love it. There's so much of him I think, here. I think so too.